G'day and welcome back to another Australian landscape photography video. In this episode, we'll be exploring coastal Victoria over the course of 10 days. We'll start at Mornington Peninsula, dip into Wilson's Prom, skip across to Bem River in the far east, scoot north to Bermagui in New South Wales before returning all the way southwest to Warrnambool and finally ending up in the Otways. Our first location was Mornington Peninsula. Being only a hop, skip and a jump from Melbourne, it's super popular. Here's a little overview of some of the photographic opportunities. Our target, however, was Bush Rangers Bay. We walked in at night in order to arrive well ahead of the dawn, making our way to an isolated, rocky outlook I had been working on during previous visits. here at uh, Bush Ranger Bay and unfortunately we don't have any dawn sky or cloud to light up the sky otherwise this would have been a really lovely composition looking towards the sunrise. Okay so here's the vertical image I love the foreground and the ocean but I felt the midground was too empty and likewise the sky. Then I dropped lower to eliminate some midground and switched to landscape to crop that blank sky. This is an improvement, but ultimately the lack of cloud kind of ruins it for me. A great scene, so I'm sure I'll reshoot it soon. Uh, yeah, so we got a decent shot here a few years back, looking back towards Cape Shank, which is in this direction, and you might <laughs> just be able to make out the lighthouse in the way off in the distance. Our next location was Wilson's Promontory. For the landscape photographer, this place is a paradise. The only downside being that it can become over popular, particularly around holiday periods. Here's a quick selection of my previous work to show you the diversity of scenery on offer. With limited time, we focused our attention on the tidal river area, starting with a dawn attempt at shooting the stream from the campground. The wind, however, proved to be far too ferocious. All right, we're trying to shoot the classic Tidal River footbridge scene here with Oberon on the right. But uh, unfortunately, it is insanely windy. Just framed up the view with the Fuji there. And looking back towards the river with these nice little rocks in the foreground is what we're trying to do. Having to hang on to the tripod with two hands sometimes, it's so windy. No reflections this morning. Still beautiful though. So that image didn't work out, but it was certainly fun to try. To give you some perspective, here's what this scene has granted in the past. Thank you. 
After this, we decided to go on a short hike to scout for future compositional ideas. This is uh, Tidal River, Wilson's Prom, looking towards Oberon, and I found a potential pano from here out to sea. The only problem, as you might have noticed, our shadows are in the shot. So I found this composition, again looking back towards Oberon, uh, and I love this sort of crack system leading us out towards the mountain. But I do feel like this whole mid-ground here is just a little bit boring. Like this is interesting, this is interesting, and then the middle is not helping us. So I might head back down onto the beach and check out the reflection again. Just doing a big pano of uh, Mount Oberon here, left to right. So left, panning, 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 all the way around to the sea. And trying to get that reflection that's just in the sand there. So we're just about to lose the light. That uh, beautiful orange glow on the mountain is fading away. What I love about this composition from here is the the water ripples the, uh, the lines leading out hopefully that comes across in the image so I love those ripples in the sand and the golden light on the mountains but the lack of cloud has once again left me wanting more another one for the reshoot list From here we headed east, all the way to the sleepy little seaside town of Bem River, about as remote as you can get. Unfortunately, that lack of clouds still plagued us. Uh, yeah, we're here at Bem River, um, on a little pier that is covered in bird poo. Uh, I'm just doing a pano, left to right, panning around, out to the sunrise in that direction, and yeah, hopefully we get some good night. Some Pelicans around here keeping us company at the moment. Now we 
image transpired from that morning, but our luck was about to change. We headed north, skipping across the border into New South Wales to the landscape photographer's wonderland that is Bermagui. Here's a quick selection as an overview of Bermagui. We were pretty tired at this point, so decided to photograph the main beach. So, uh, we're at Bermagui Beach and uh, we're waiting for the sun to go down. We've got a few scrappy bits of cloud in the sky, which is hopefully just enough to catch a bit of light. Sun coming from this direction and touching the mountain with a bit of luck. With our luck finally changing for the better, we returned to an old favourite, Camel Rock for Dawn. The tide was low, allowing for safe access to a variety of foreground options. We are at Bermagui. This is Camel Rock. And uh, I'm just trying to frame up the rock, obviously. It's dawn, and I'm trying to include as much as I can of this gorgeous little rock pool here in the foreground. So this is uh, one of these situations where you need to be a bit careful with a polarizer. Be tempting to polarize that water, but if you do, you lose the color in the sky that's reflected in my little rock pool. And I'm also making sure I do a focus stack. So focusing on the camel rock, focusing on the immediate foreground and then also one right down here on the very lip as well. Look at that lovely little pool. <laughs> Just can't get over the colour. Hey, we have light on the rocks. Over the next few days, we worked our way southwest through Victoria, scouting locations and attempting every sunset and dawn, only to be met with empty blue skies. Finally, towards the end of our time, persistence paid off at Hopkins Falls in the coastal city of Warrnambool. <laughs> Finally got some uh, beautiful light on this trip. Hopkins Falls. Looks gorgeous. So on the back of the camera, hopefully you can see that I was including the reeds at the bottom there and the falls in the background and the sky, which was spectacular a moment ago. Had to focus stack the reeds, of course. Here's what it looks like now. Light's faded. Last day we took a gamble revisiting a favourite Otways waterfall despite bright blue skies. Incredibly the direct sun pierced water spray casting amazing streaming light. What a finish to a great landscape photography trip. Yeah, that looks really nice, doesn't it?
that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Prints can be obtained from my website for those interested. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next adventure.